So Missy's the first breast cancer we found with our new machine. And she just finished her radiation therapy today, so we threw a little party for her. And that's why all the pink in the background and, and of course, we have lots of food that's not good for you, but it tastes good. I'd like to introduce Dr. David. Missy's worked for me for a lot of years, and um, our new mammography unit was convenient enough that Missy actually got a mammogram done. Okay. Where's the Trish thing? Get a jail -free card. Thank you. <laughs> I'm always curious of what I got you. <laughs> you do such a good job. Everybody's getting a hug today, so you are too. <laughs> So I've been an employee with Dr. Patton for 11 years and um, we moved to this new location and we have top of the art um, equipment and we um, started doing mammograms when we moved here. And so I decided because of my age that I could be a test person. At 45, I had my mammogram. It did come back as cancer. Today I just finished up my last radiation treatment and um, it's been a long journey but now try to advocate to everybody that um, that they too need one. I think that there's a stereotype with mammograms that they're horrible and that they hurt and that they're awful and um, that's not the case at all. Um, with the new technology that we have and the 3D and the ABIS and, and so forth, um, you know, it just takes a few seconds. Your insurance pays for it. Um, so really there's no reasoning why people shouldn't um, have it done. Being with Dr. Patton for so long, um, I've watched him, you know, develop a great health care to this community. And I mean, I'm thankful for that in itself, that he doesn't just set a goal, reach that goal, and is satisfied. I'm glad and, and blessed that he takes it to the next step and offers the top of the notch technology and offers what he does. You know, he's trying to make this a, a whole wellness um, type of office and I'm thankful for that. I mean, it's a, it's a great screening tool. I mean, you know, somewhere between one in eight and one in nine women will eventually get breast cancer. And it's one of those silent things until it gets big enough to actually feel. And mammography, especially the new 3D mammography, which we have, can catch it much earlier than somebody can feel it. And like I tell everyone, there are two 3D machines in town. Uh, the Cancer Center has one in Kanawha City, and I'm the only other one in town. And so these are the two best machines in town, and, and so it's important to get your mammogram.